Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. A very special one. That's right. We're officially starting volume 7 of Ruby. Nothing but up from here on out. So I've been told. Also featuring my fridge, which now has... Yes, you hear, you can see it. Pounds of monster. I got 12, and it doesn't so much as scratch the surface. That is literally just the first layer. There's nothing behind them. That is all. This is what happens when you ask for a mini fridge. You get a goddamn mini fridge. Anyways. Yeah, but before we start, I had a few people ask me to watch this thing called So This Is Basically Ruby, which is like a six minute video. Uh, that kind of summarizes volume 6, I think. I don't know. I don't really know the details about it. But we're going to watch it anyways because it's Ruby related. It's going to be hilarious. Yeah, call me it. I still have a cold. So uh, do apologize if you constantly hear me dying. It's just part of the course for being me. I swear to I, I can't. I can't live, guys. I can't live without dying. The most quotable thing I've ever said. Anyways, <laughs> let's get on with the video. All right, let's see what Smash this is all about. Internet show about greedy anime girls smacking each other that somehow got popular despite its initial budget of seven dollars. The world of Rem was that the actual budget? Creatures <laughs> called Grim, and mankind's only hope for survival. So it's not a, it's a, a synopsis of the show. Okay. Fight for the people with sensible weapons like a tuba that is also a gun. Team Rude Bees is a group of four girls learning how to be huntresses. Ruby is the leader of Team Ruby, which isn't confusing at all. She's a Not at all. who puts the pedals to the metal and has a secret charring gun. She's also got a dead mom who is added <laughs> oh. to the series at the last possible second on a whim because Rwambi's writing likes to fly by the seat of its oversized clown pants. Wines is a standard hoity-toity rich girl and Ruby's best friend who hates her. God damn, wise power is losing every single fight she's ever been involved in. <laughs> Land is secretly an alley cat, which is fitting because she belongs in the garbage. Humans are racist against the lagoos like Bland because they don't know how many ears they're supposed to have. Do they get human ears? Animal ears? Neither? Both? Why do only it's some true. of them have tails? That's not fair. How would you feel if humans just ran? I've never thought about that before. How many arms we have? Oops. Follow their exciting adventures at Beacon Academy. Except don't, as the show introduces uh, young. characters, explores none of them, and then the school oh. blows up. But the show isn't about the characters. No, no, no. It's not about the characters. It's about the over-the-top spectacle fighting. And the oh, hell yeah. For themselves. Or rather, they would if they weren't constantly accompanied by non-stop butt metal. Outside of the fights, the animation is pretty shaky mistakey. The models do so much clipping and clopping that one could reasonably mistake them for a horse. And the lip flap <laughs> mocap looks like it was done by a bass on a wall. Everyone's got a magical fight power called a semblance. Take Pyrrha, for instance, a prodigy with so many death flags that she might as well be communicating in semaphore. Her semblance <laughs> is magnets, so she can collect more death flags. There's also Adam, whose semblance is being the worst. But remember, <laughs> semblances aren't magic. You can also augment your powers with dust, a special powder that allows you to use magic. But that's not magic either. Yeah, it's not Villains magic. Spend two entire it's magic that's not magic. Dust before the writers forget about that and never bring it up again. I'd say they magically forgot, except that couldn't be it, because magic doesn't exist. Oh my goodness, magic does exist? Well, wait, what makes magic different from a semblance or dust? Well, that's a good question. They forgot that too. Yeah. Maybe the answer lies in World of Remnant, <laughs> a Robbie Rotten side series that answers some of the many, many questions the show thinks it doesn't have time for. Because the best way to do your world building is to ignore it the first time around and then give your viewers homework. There's also Rewarding. I do love homework. Which is a series of dumb gags that somehow uses the cast better than the actual show does. Spend 40 episodes impatiently waiting for the plot to start until Team Kangaroo Bee joins up with Ozpin, an immortal reincarnated into the body of a little baby his goal is to save the world from so adorable an evil witch who fell into the oozy jacuzzi and got really <laughs> the oozy jacuzzi <laughs> think of the first three volumes as one long season and then have 
a friend tell you what happens in four and five so you don't have to watch them because they're garbage. Speaking of garbage, which is a segue I could put anywhere. The garbage. Video, the writers desperately want you to think that Ozpin is as morally gray as his hair. But they also keep forgetting to have him actually do anything evil. Jungle Crow, what exactly did Ozpin do that was so bad? You don't get it, kid. Ozpin gave me the power to turn into a bird. Is that is that a bad thing? Are you are you cursed? No, no, I can do it whenever I want. I can change back whenever I want. I don't get it. That sounds exclusively uh, beneficial. No, Ruby. It's extremely no, beneficial, I but it's evil. Bird, Ruby. I can turn into a bird. Uncle Crow, I, I don't. Why is this bad? What do you do with a drunken sailor <laughs> in the morning? <laughs> His real problem is that they throw in every cool idea they have and then don't develop anything. Why well, advance the plot or talk to people? Oh, Jin! It's dumb! Epic. Her character is the only one who doesn't talk, but I'm excited to see how they ruin her. Sometimes not talking is the best way to advance Could you imagine? Like Yang and Bland, who not talked their way into being girlfriends because the fan base was so insistent about it that the writers just gave up, I guess. I can't wait for Volume 7's equally well earned moment when Weiss finally gets to hook up with Torchwick's ghost. Oh, I get it. You want some real emotional investment? Oh. Did you know that my sister and I were cursed to be burnt? Uncle Crow, <laughs> please stop! Why is my name spelled with a Q? <laughs> I've Later. always wondered that I'm as John well. Rooster Teeth, here to insist that you please watch any of our other shows besides Ruby. Buy a shirt. Hey, thanks for watching. If you do want to watch... <laughs> Alright, that was epic. That is just a little bit. Yeah, well worth the watch. It, it does bring up some valid points, but I'm not going to talk about them, because... Lord knows I'll get comments being like, well, actually, if you think about it, and I'm just, I'm just not prepared for the, I'm not prepared for the flame. All right, but the first episode of Volume 7, let's go. All right, for this one, we're just going to watch the first episode because there are 13 chapters. Therefore, if I watch two, the following, uh, I can watch uh, episode 12 and 13 together. So I don't even have to make a really long last episode with the last three chapters. And I also don't have to, you know, watch two chapters and then I'll have just the last one be its own video. So I think watching the first one's best than watching the last one by itself, if you know what I mean. I also have been told this was the point where, uh, I, I forget his name, but Crow's voice actor, he uh, obviously that, that whole thing happened with him being questioned and what have you for all the shit accusations that were getting thrown around. So apparently his voice actor changes, but he... Apparently does a pretty decent job at sounding like Crow. So, we'll see. We'll see if we notice. You're an Atlas now, though. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I get to see Iron Daddy again. It's just a great start to what I'm going to assume is a great volume. Turn this up just a little bit. I don't know how loud it is. Seems semi quiet. The animation's so much better than Volume One, though. I went back to look at Volume One, one uh, a little while ago. Your to Atlas Bay Night and day. A security team will meet you there. Over. I don't understand. What's happening here? I don't know. Mm. We are here. We got I can turn the into a crow, us. Ruby. A crow. <laughs> get some answers. I can turn into a bird. Yeah, his voice is definitely not as gravelly. So aggressively before. If we land in a stolen ship, there's no way the security team will let us anywhere near Ironwood. They might even take me back to my father. So, Winter. That's yeah, Winter. Between us and the fleet. You don't have to tell me twice. I love Winter, but at the same time, hate her. Nah, she seems nice actually. I thought she was going to be that big sister that is just an absolute twat, but nah, she's she's good. Alright, so Atlas was at the top. What was at the bottom again? There's so many places, and I don't want to name it the wrong thing. I thought it was Mistral, but I don't think it's Mistral. I, I can't remember. The That fucking beard. 
<laughs> Grandpappy. General Ironwood. He's getting there. Went from five o'clock shadow to uh James. Full beard. What have you been doing? Yeah, you can definitely tell that the voice actors changed because like I said, the voice is not as gravelly as it usually is. This isn't right. But it's a decent None it's a decent right. voice. We're kind of running out of time here, kids. We need to ditch the ship. Agreed. Get lost in Mantle and buy ourselves some time. I'm telling you, my sister can take us to Ironwood. Uh, why is... A reminder. What's happened? Hmm? Failure to cooperate with Atlas military personnel is a punishable offense. If your sector Winter? is under lockdown... Winter, what are you doing? I'm not sure that's a good idea anymore. There's obviously something very wrong. If we can just talk to her, then we... Look, I'm not even sure we should be talking to Ironwood until we know exactly what's going on with Mantle. But everyone, calm Mantle. down. <sighs> you I know someone start with who something. can help with both. Man with an M. Jeez, lady, take a hint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's great. I love her so much. <laughs> Very voodoo-esque though, like a shaman. I think I've mentioned that before, I can't remember. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, there he is again. Come on now, hurry. It shouldn't be much of a walk. Show your teeth. Is this many soldiers normal? No. At least I didn't think so. Huh? Good robot, do you mind? Too late, being exposed. Maybe we should pick up the pace. You have to remember, the kingdom had just lost the Great War. The people of Mantle needed a sign of a brighter future, and that sign was Atlas. After all, a home in the clouds is about as bright as it gets. Is that the Not dust mines? Having to look up at it. <clears throat> this whole city. Oh, oil. Just seems awful. My, my yeah. Inside. You don't like it here? There's plenty of space out in the tundra. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Alice is the greatest kingdom in the world. All right. Hey. We can't cause a scene. Yeah, I can tell. The embargo. The embargo's got us in a rough patch, but it'll blow over. You'll see. We try and help the other kingdoms, and this is what happens. I say a lot of rat. Not a what? I apologize. I didn't mean to insult you. Stupid finest like you. Ooh. <laughs> 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 yeah, you tell him. It was worth it. You good, fella? No. Thank you for your cooperation. You recognize her? She looks an awful lot like your uh... that. Oh, look, sorry, that guy. Protect Mantle. <laughs> He's got white hair. Ah, it's good to see you again, old friend. All white-haired anime characters. Are... <laughs> Always top tier. Always. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Have we met? Well, this no. is a fantastic start. Cybernetic optical implants? You adjust them every 10 years or so? Nope. Oh, yeah, no. Cybernetic optical implants. Okay. Casual. Four legged. I know. Robot I thing. Like chair. Fine wine. Would have been here sooner if I hadn't run into these jokers. At the time, I thought they might need my guidance while fighting a little old sphinx. Oh, did they? No, no. They had much more complicated issues. Oh, yeah, you can say that again. And this is... 
So impatient. I didn't think I'd need to introduce one of Atlas's finest minds. Working in a place like this? He likes to keep a, a day little since profile. last incident a zero. <laughs> none of you know anything about. You can call me Pietro. Finest heart. Too. I'm assuming he His has an illusion. He is just where he volunteers when he's not building the future of Stephen Hawking. Alongside Ironwood. Super smart guy in a wheelchair. Oh, it's stuffy up there. Down here I get to help the locals and have a little fun. I'm uh, currently working on shoes that make you dance. Yeah, you want to try them on? Yes. yes. I knew it. I was about to say, does Nora say yes? <laughs> we were wondering if you could help us. We came to Atlas hoping to talk with General Ironwood, but um, what exactly has been happening here? <coughs> uh, the fall of Beacon took a toll on all of us. James was no different. I couldn't tell you exactly what it was he saw there, but it changed him. Hell. He's he's scared. Paranoid would be the more appropriate term. You have to understand. <coughs> it wasn't just the grim. Someone completely dismissed. Oh, is that saying nonsense? Not incident. <laughs> made it their plaything and made us look like traitors to some and buffoons to everyone else. Whoever managed to do that <gasps> is either a genius. His biggest secret revealed. He's bald. I fear the answer may be. Dear both. God. And so does the general. <laughs> Maybe Atlas isn't as safe as we thought. After we came all this way, we can't just leave, can we? How does the council feel about all of this? Or Winter Schnee? Do you know anything about her? Well, the council's so scared they'll agree to whatever he wants. Though some representatives... From I Atlas mean, with that beard, how can you say wait, no? You're, you're, you're why Schnee? Uh, wait, what no, was I'm it not. that you were trying to say about Mantle? <laughs> You painted it. So he made what? the arm for her. Is everything okay? You're Team Ruby. Uh... Uh... <laughs> oh, my girl, I do. I most certainly do. And I feel like such a dunce for not recognizing you sooner. My daughter's told me so much about you. <gasps> Am I overreacting? Maybe I jumped to the wrong conclusion here. He creates things. There was a person that was created. Had a soul slapped into her body. Yeah, trouble. Wait. Hmm. Interesting. Wait. I'm not going to jump to conclusions yet. I'm just going to wait and see. Okay. And I want to start getting hyped out of nowhere. But I will get hyped. City defenses aren't doing much. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. What the... What is it? Well, we didn't come this far to film that. God damn nose, don't don't act up now, please. I can't deal with that. Oh god, that's loud. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, that goddamn scythe sword, man. It's my favorite weapon, I think, thus far. Oh, gotta keep your eyes open, my friend. So good. <laughs> it's so good. I'm sorry, her semblance, man. I don't know what it is. Hmm. It's 
sexual tension is palpable, is what I was about to say. Doubt. All right, then. <laughs> Where was that five minutes ago? Here. They recognize each other. I'm gonna do a quick lap. What did I tell you? <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew I did not shed tears for no reason. Yes. Sal, huh? No. You? Stations? Oh, okay. I thought she was calling her Sal for a second. I was like, who the hell is Sal? <laughs> well, she definitely looks new. It is such a pleasure to see you all again. Penny. Penny, I, I thought you were dead. I, I thought you But at the same time, I knew she wasn't dead. I guess in a manner of speaking, she did. But we were able to recover her core from Amity Arena once it had made its way back to Atlas. It took me some time, but... I'm as good as new, <sighs> better even, and now I'm the official protector of the city. That's my girl. We're not going to let a little ripping... <laughs> she looks so much better as well. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> is strangely wholesome. Sounds Extremely like wholesome. We have so many things to catch up about. I cannot wait. It seems we will have to wait. <laughs> Let's talk more later. I can't wait to hear about all your visions. I'm very excited for the whole experience. <laughs> I can't tell if I completely understand what's going on or have like a million questions. I got a billion questions. I have about a thousand answers. Why did you make me feel things? I have absolutely no idea who that child was. Is she important somehow? That was unexpected. Never a dull moment. But I wouldn't say unwelcome. I was honestly expecting things to go a lot rougher. I'm so happy now. <laughs> I mean, Ren knows that real quick. Good work, team. Hey, what's going on? Hey, pal, I'm a licensed huntsman. Just help save everyone? I don't like the look of him. Looks like an arrogant piece of shit. Or maybe I'm judging him too quickly, but he looks like an arrogant asshole, so. Hmm. Let's get them loaded into the next transport. Please! We were just trying to help! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what are the Aesops even doing down here in Mount? Aesops? Doctor, good to see you. Well, we heard a report of an unauthorized ship making an unauthorized landing, followed by an unauthorized use of weapons by non-licensed huntsmen. Mm. If we could just so is he supposed to be like Geppetto? They'll be able to talk this out once they get up to Atlas. Let's move out. I think that's the name. It's been quite some time since I've seen Pinocchio, so I could have butchered that name real bad. Now this, this is much closer to what I was expecting. Yeah. Sounds about right, my friend. <laughs> um, dude, volume 7 is just hit. I don't want it to rain, but volume 7 hit an 11 straight away by bringing my girl back. I knew I did not shed tears for her for a reason. I knew she was going to come back. I could smell it. God damn, smell it. Try and gaslight me again. But the same person? No, not today. Yeah, I'm so happy she's back. Well, Volume 7 is looking real good for me right now. I really enjoyed that first episode. I know it's a lot shorter of an ep, like, this, we're reaching about half an hour. I, I normally hit like 45 minutes, 50 minutes or whatever, because two episodes is usually quite long. But uh, like I said, I always do like one episode at the beginning, if you haven't noticed. 
because then it is it's usually 13 chapters so it lines up well for the last two episodes to be able to come out in the same one i could just finesse it and <laughs> have it come out in the same one but you know it's easier doing it this way oh but i'm so happy ah i'm so goddamn happy oh, what a day what a goddamn day hell yeah yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, to the rest of Volume 7 now. A lot of people are being like, dude, if like if you think Volume 3 was... Well, the way that... I don't know if it was like, the say, get prepared for Volume 8 because Volume 3 was depressing and Volume 8's even worse. Maybe even Volume 7. I don't know. I'm scared and excited at the same time. It's a weird combination of feelings. I'm, like, I'm terrified, but also I love it. Because I want to watch it and I'm hyped. And then the new season comes out soon, very soon. And just lining up so perfectly. I think it comes out every week. So by all means, if I'm pumping out, what, an episode a day. Let's say I'll do four or five episodes a week. So I should be able to get round about a full volume in, in about a week-ish. About a week, give or take. And I've got the OSTs and, you know, a smattering of other videos I usually do. So I should be I should be caught up pretty quickly to be able to watch the new season with you guys. Now apparently it's on Crunchyroll, which I don't have an account for, but my brother has an account, so I just use his account. So if I can record the screen, because sometimes like with Netflix and stuff, they don't let you like record screens or anything like that. I think I once tried to take a screenshot on my phone of it, and it was just a blank image. They like block it out. So I don't know if they'll actually let me record the screen. I really hope they do, but uh. Yeah, if I can watch it on there, then I'll watch it on there. If you guys don't have a Crunchyroll account or you don't want to get one, you're more than welcome to watch it with me. But I know, obviously, people like to watch it by themselves and then just watch the reactions afterwards. I know I'm like that. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here if you guys wanted to watch it. And there's plenty of other reactors that are probably do a better job than me <laughs> who uh, you can watch. Oh, I can't wait, though. Oh, it's good. I hope I don't get spoilers, though. That's what I'm really, really scared for. I, I am a magnet it is my semblance. Anything that I'm watching at the time, I will get a spoiler for. I don't know how. I don't even search anything Ruby related up. I have Max Guide. I click the button and it opens up the website and that's it. I don't search anything on YouTube. And if anything ever does pop up, I click it. Boom, not interested. Go away. Don't come back another day. Yes, if you guys did indeed like, I just realized I've been rambling on. If you guys did indeed like this video, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help massively. I hope you guys have had a great day. I hope you guys continue to have a great week. If not, I hope it gets better. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Can't wait. I'm so looking forward to it. <sighs> Goodbye.